am back and I have a really quick haul of um, the new Doodlebug washies that came out for the new collections um, for the Santa Express, Frosty Friends, Gowls and Goodies, um, Friendly Forest, and Happy Camper. So I wanted to share those with you and then I also had a few people ask if I would show some of my layouts. So I gathered a few of my most recent ones that I made. I found 11 different ones to show and I thought I would try to sneak those in at the very end. So I'll get started with all the washi. I'll just move it out of the way here and then I'll show you um, collection by collection. Um, so the first bit that I'll show you is the Halloween washies and it's from the ghosts and, or sorry, from the gowls and goodies line. And this is the spooky stars one. It's one of the, um, the thinner of the washies. So you get these cute little stars. So I really like that one. And then I got the, this cute little chevron one. It's called Halloween Chevron. And I'll open this one up here for you guys to see. Really cute. I love it. And it's different than the Halloween one they had last year. And then also from that line is Trick or Treat. And this is so cute. I've never seen, I'm sure they have it, but I've never seen the black washi before. And it's really, really cute with the black. I like that. And then also another black one is um, Dandy Candy. And it just shows up really cute with the black um, background. So cute little trick-or-treating candy. Love that. And then that's it for that collection. And then I'll show the Frosty Friends collection. This one is adorable. So this is the smaller washi that you get. There's always one that's um, the thinner. You can tell, um, see these are the thick ones and the other one's like half that size. So this one is the Snowballs and it is really nice. It's the swimming pool um, color, doodle bug. So get that one. And then I also got, um, this one was called Frosty Dots and it's really cute. I love the polka dots. And then also from the Frosty Friends collection, I got this winter scarf one and I love this one. It has actual metallic on it. So where you see the silver, um, it's hard to see in my video, but it is like a shiny silver metallic and I didn't expect that. So that was pretty exciting. And then this is my favorite doodlebug washi of all of the ones that they've come out with. It's called All A Flurry and it has cute little snowflakes on it and the snowflakes that are silver are metallic and it is gorgeous. It's not doing it justice in the video, but if you can see where the silver is, that's metallic and it is so, so pretty. That is my favorite one ever. So I'm really excited to get using those. So that's the washi for the friends or from for the frosty friends. And then I'll show you the Santa Express one. So here's the smaller washi that you get, which is Sweethearts. And cute little hearts. And then also from that line, um, the North Pole Stripe. So there's that one, really bright, I like that. And then also this really cute little train one, which is called Santa Express. And it has little presents on it. How cute is that? And the train isn't super long, so sometimes they make different designs and it goes on and on and on and you can't fit it all in the spot you were hoping to use it. So this was nice because the train's just small, so you could do more than one train if you wanted to use a lot in one area. And then also from that collection is this really cute, it's called Frosty Frill, and it has a little um, kind of like a doily or lace border. I don't know if you can see it there. There we go, that's a little bit better. Really cute, I love that one because that would work on any page. Um, there's another one like that, Pistachio Lace, that came out for the Sugar Shop collection and I have that one too and it's really cute. Also, this one didn't go with any of the collections. It's just their polka dot washi. It's called Ladybug, Ladybug Swiss Dot. And um, it, I thought, would go really cute with the Santa Express line. And um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got these washies from allscrapbooksteals.com. And this one was only $2.50. And usually they're about like $3 or $4. So I got that one because I thought that was a good deal and it matched. And then... Um, the Friendly Forest and Happy Camper, the washies kind of seemed like they went together. So um, I'll just show 
which ones I think go with which. This one for sure goes with the Friendly Forest and it's Colors of Fall. And it has cute little polka dots. I really like that one too. But, so that one for sure went with the Happy, um, or with the Friendly Forest. And then I got these Fall Leaves. This is another one of my favorites of the Doodle Bug washies. It has a cream base, um, like the background is a cream color. And then it has all these cute little leaves. So that one I think went with Happy Camper, but I'm not 100% sure. And then um, this one is the Pumpkin Gingham. And it's just a cute little orange tangerine. Really cute. And then um, this one is called Fernwood. And it's um, a wood green in the green, like the limeade color. That's another nice one. I think that came out last year too for their Happy Harvest collection, but I didn't get it. So now I have it and it will match that collection. And then the next thing that I'm gonna show, I actually undid them out of their packaging because I had shown them in another video and it got deleted and I had already taken them out of the packaging. So this one is the Mini Mushrooms and it is really cute too. You get these little mushrooms. It's hard to see the stems, but they're like a light cream color. And then this one I took out of the packaging too. It's Autumn Stripe. Sorry, it's not um, showing a little bit blurry. And then I'll show you that one. Here we go. So this is one of the thin ones. It's really cute. And that one goes with the Friendly Forest because it matches the polka dots. And then I got one other one that is older from the Hip Hip Hooray collection. And it's called Ziggity Zag. And it's also a thin one. And let's see if I can see where it starts here. Oh, here we go. And it's really nice. And I thought it would go cute with the fall collection. So I grabbed that. So those are all the washies. Um, so I'll just move them aside. And then I'll quick just show you some of my um, recent layouts that I've done. Um, most of them have doodlebug stuff in it. But they're not, they're not all doodlebugs. Some of it is Bow Bunny and Simple Stories. So I'll just show you those. Bring them over. And these are just like the most recent ones that I've done. I tried to grab a few. I a lot of times like to do scrap lifting and copy other people's really cute ideas and make them my own. But I tried to pick ones that I had actually designed and made myself. So if some of these were a scrap lift, I really apologize. But I'm pretty sure most of these were my um, um, vision that I kind of had. So this is one that I did for strawberry picking because we have a really nice little strawberry field. Um, where you can pick strawberries near our house. And um, I'll also mention another thing about my scrapbooking is that I scrapbook a little bit different than most other people. I like to do all the whole year and then at the very end of all my scrapbooking, I print the picture. So I do know what the picture looks like and I know if I want it to be vertical or horizontal and I do have an idea where the pictures are gonna go. And I keep track of it in a little book, um, what pictures I wanna print and, um, which ones I'm going to put on which pages that I've designed but I just I don't know why but I just don't like scrapbooking with the photos I like to just make the page and I do try to pick out um like say if I'm wearing a red shirt I'll use red in the layout that kind of thing but I just don't like to scrapbook with my photos so all these do not have pictures in them and once I finish the, my yearbook I can go through it and show it again with the photos but I just thought I would show some of my layouts the way that they they are now and they don't have photos. So I apologize for that. Um, so this layout was called Berry Sweet. And um, this is from a Valentine line. I honestly don't remember what it was called. I think it was called Sweet Cakes maybe from Doodlebug. And it came out probably three years or two years ago. Um, and they used to, their this and that sticker sheets used to be die cuts. And so this was a die cut um, that I got from that line. And these are me and my big idea cards. They were from a from an I think I love you line and these were um, doodle bug stickers and they have the sugar on them and this these stickers were just from like the dollar store or something um, so that's the first page there and then this page goes with it I usually sometimes I do um, one page layouts but most of the time I do um, my pages together so that page is kind of <laughs> supposed to go with that page so this is um, also with the same paper and this card here, this four by six um, card, it's a Project Life card, but like I've said in my other videos, I do use Project Life cards in my scrapbook layouts. 
And um, it was from the Me and My Big Ideas Love Collection 2. It's an older one. And same with the, this green paper here is a card, the 3 by 4 card. And this one is also a card. So that's that layout. And then another layout that I did, um, this one was called Love Birds. And I have two Chihuahua puppies. And we have so many pictures of them cuddling. So this was for Valentine's. But I thought it'd be cute if I showed... Um, a cute few pictures of them that I had cuddling. So I usually leave the spot where I'm gonna put the picture. So I was thinking I'd put the one picture here and another picture here and then a four by six there. And um, this was also with the Lovebirds collection from Doodlebug and it's older as well. I'm a little bit behind. And then to go with that page, this is the other one. And so it kind of goes like this. <laughs> I'll just, that's how it goes together, like that. And um, also, this was made with the Lovebirds um, collection and their icon stickers. And I really like that collection. I had I have made so many pages with it. I think I made like 20 pages with that collection alone and really liked them. And then the next one was an Easter page that I did. And I love pancakes. That is one of my favorite <laughs> foods is pancakes. I know that maybe that's weird, but um, every year for the different holidays, I dye the pancake mix. So if it's like St. Patrick's Day, we'll have green pancakes. And if it's Easter, I'll make pink, blue, yellow pancakes. And it's kind of funny because, um, I mean, yeah, you're eating a pink or green pancake, but it's really fun and makes cute layouts. So that's what this picture is going to be there is of my, of my Easter pancakes that we made. And this is from the Hello Springtime collection from Doodlebug, I think it is. And these are um, sugar um, glittered stickers that were from the Fancy Frill sheet for that. And um, also these stickers here are from Doodlebug. This is a three by four card from me and my big idea from that Love collection. And then what's supposed to go with this first page is then this page. So I'll show you, it's supposed to be like that. And then that goes with it. <laughs> And then this is also um, paper from the, I'm pretty sure it's called Hello Springtime or Hello Spring, something like that. And um, if if you ever get the Doodlebug collections, on the very first, um, like the collection page that comes at the front where it shows um, what's going to be in it, it always shows a little bit of what um, each paper is. And I never throw those out. I always keep them because you can make really cute little flags with them and not have to cut away your big 12 by 12 sheets. So that's where I got all these little bits from. And then the next page um, I'm, is a Valentine page. And the, the pictures that are supposed to go out on this page are with my niece. And I went over and made Valentine cupcakes with my sister-in-law and my niece. And um, this little arrow that set, that's going here from the title that says cuter than a cupcake, I have a picture of my niece in a cute little apron that says little helper, I think, on it. And so the name of the page is cuter than a cupcake because my niece is adorable and she's cuter than a cupcake. <laughs> and um, these little flags along the side I used from the 12 by 12 front of the collection package. Um, and I got all those from it. So I just chopped them up. And I have little brads here at the bottom. I think those were um, Echo Park brads from like a long time ago. And the stickers are just, the alphabet stickers were just... Um, dollar store um, stickers that I had ahead. And this is from the Lovebird collection, I believe, for, by Doodlebug. And then um, to go with that page, this page goes with it. Sorry guys, my camera's not above, so it's hard to show, but again, I'll show how it's supposed to be a two page layout. So it's supposed to be like this, and then that goes with it. So um, these little brads, I'm pretty sure were Echo Park. And then these stickers were from the Lovebird, or maybe it was Sweet Cakes collection that those cupcakes came from. Sorry, next time I do layouts, I'll, I'll um, remember to, to keep track of where I use different materials from. I didn't know I was going to be making videos at the time, and so I don't really recall entirely, but I think it was Sweet Cakes. And um, with that collection, they used to have, now they have the this and that sticker sheet, but before they had the die cuts. And so these were just die cuts that were from um, the, the 12 by 12 page that came with the collections. So, and this was just a strip of the paper. And then I put with the Fancy Frills border stickers across. So yeah, that one. 
And then those ones I did recently, but not as recent. The next ones I'm going to show, I just like recently did like just a few, like just a month or so ago. So the next page is this one. And yes, you can probably tell by my other pages, I am an embellishment queen. I like love embellishment so much and my page is not finished unless there is nowhere left to add stuff. Um, I don't like spots that are open. So I always just try to pack as much stuff as I can. Um, this collection I did with a really, really old Bow Bunny line. It was um, a coffee kind of baking line. I don't recall what it was. If anyone was interested in knowing, just leave a comment and I can check in my scrapbook room what the name of the collection was. But I used um, stuff from the Bow Bunny line. I had the die cuts from it and that was from that. And um, the border strip was just on um, a cut apart sheet of a 12 by 12 page and I had cut that little coffee one. And this page is supposed to be, it's called Coffee and Cocoa. And I absolutely love coffee, but I like to make them into a mocha. So I add um, milk and hot chocolate mix to it. So it makes it like a hot chocolate, but with coffee in it, which is like a mocha. And um, so I love those. My One of my favorite parts of the day is when I get to have my coffee in the morning. So this is just a page about um, my coffee. And